ended up getting a Cobb salad for lunch because I don't know, I just wasn't feeling the hot plates that they had. We're actually at Franconia Market and Deli. Wrap City Chips are the, they are the greatest chips in the world. Yeah, I got a taste of what a farmer's market is like and I just had to come back. So I got some gluten-free cinnamon raisin bread and we got a couple Christmas gifts and I got lemon poppy seed bread. And I also think we're gonna go to the thrift store because I need some new shoes. My shoes are looking a little scraggly. We still don't know where we're staying at. <laughs> we, we're at, like, if we can't find anywhere to stay, then we're gonna have to leave in six days. So, we'll keep you posted if we find anything or not. and deli whatever this dude was adamant about either selling us some pepperoni or apple cider donuts so we're trying the pepperoni yeah dude, he said we wouldn't regret it dude needs a raise because we weren't leaving without they, buying something from him they do it themselves how is it Like a big beef jerky stick. Yeah, it is for six bucks. Jeez. Oh, it's 10 out of 10. Let me get my dressing and my salad shook up and we'll do a review for that. So, let's see how she is. I wanted something with egg in it. It's a solid salad. We're gonna finish eating. And then I think we're gonna find a thrift store. Maybe a hike. I don't know, it kinda depends on the time. I'm not born to say I need second chances. Anymore, now that I'm speaking more of my mind. Yet it's not as good as it somehow seemed to be Seemed to be yeah, yeah. So I kind of have really, really awesome news uh, Oh Sorry. We just met this, uh, the, the manager of this place in Sugar Hill, New Hampshire. And it is just the most beautiful place. It's so, it's so quiet and quaint and homey. <laughs> and they're just so friendly. That was the nicest, nicest person we've met. They are just I don't, by far the best place that we visited. Um, so the plan is to actually long-term stay there. They said they do, you know, three, four, five, however long you need. And they're actually, it kind of slows down in the winter time. So they like to have people, you know, occupying the space, keeping the, the pipes running so nothing freezes. And they said that they definitely can find us a room. So pray, pray, pray that um, when they call us tomorrow or the next morning that we're able to, to, to do it. That would be such a blessing.
11 o'clock, 51 degrees. We're gonna keep that in mind because we are about to hike up the Mount Washington mountain in New Hampshire and I'll put in this clip from yesterday. I saw the steeple. Like, that's snow. The <laughs> mountains are getting snow capped around here and the leaves are turning into snowflakes pretty quick, which I'm so excited about. So I'm, I'm gonna do this three mile hike so I can see the snow. <laughs> it's a three mile hike one way. Three and a half mile one way, so it'll be a little over seven miles. Yeah, so we had to bring the backpack with some waters in it this time because we never bring waters and we got some Eno's and we need to take a break. It's like 20 to 30 degrees colder on top of the mountain. So We'll see you at the start of our <laughs> hike. So we're back at Pinkham Notch. And that's where we're going to end up. <laughs> okay, so just to confirm, the summit is 4.1 miles one way. Okay, I'm not sure how far we've been hiking, but it is so stinking pretty. And steep. Yeah. Nothing but a rock. Calves are burning. And there's no signs anywhere, too, like... Where does that go? Okay, so we are a good ways in. I don't know if you can see the clouds up there, but that is the top. Um, we were told by some people that you need ice and snow gear, but nah. <laughs> keep going straight up? I say we keep going up. I don't know. You're kidding, right? Oh, yeah. I'm not sugarcoating this one. It's tough. It is extremely tough. I mean, holy moly. steps almost 500 calories burned and 102 flights of stairs <sighs> the signs are really sparse out here is that right it's bears okay so we ran into this dude and he told us to go this way don't know what it leads to but we're doing it. Okay, I had to take a break. Um, I got extremely lightheaded and I felt like my chest was about to retract and just, I thought I was about to stop breathing for a second. It was so weird. And it's like we crossed a border and it just got extremely cold, like more cold. Um, it's 12.50 right now. So, yeah, those are the updates. Look how fast those clouds are moving. Yeah. All right, so currently the wind on top of Mount Washington is 80 mile per hour winds it's like 19 degrees up there right now um so pretty cold also we are only halfway through it and i think we've already hiked what four miles it has not been four it's only been like three. Oh, sorry three miles three are those chipmunks that make that noise yeah okay there's a little shack through the woods right there we're gonna disregard it 
<laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, this is insane. We are so high up. So the hiking community, like the people are extremely sweet. There were some people who thought that they were gonna go to the top too, but they heard about the harsh winds. And I don't think they're gonna go either. I'm gonna have to get up these rocks. So I'm gonna have to let you guys go for just a second. Yeah, you can see the outline of the mountains. We are up, up, up. We thought we were up in West Virginia. Yeah. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. We're like even. We're like right below the clouds. Cool. We almost there? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Those people told us that we are two hours away. It is 1.30. Um, I just, we've been hiking for about two hours, so I'm not stopping. So we're gonna take one last good break, overlooking that, and we just have to go. Yeah, we're getting to the top of this thing. They went to the top. They said the wind's the, the most horrible thing. It's not enjoyable, but at least so, they didn't say we did it. Can you see this? All right, Sarah, you ready? I don't think she's ever. Yeah, she's ready. Oh, I am not a heights kind of girl. <laughs> so you actually can't get to the top today because it's entirely too dangerous. Of course, on the day we come, I guess we'll be taking the rail, rail, railway anyway, uh, anyhow. Yeah, look how fast those clouds are going. Yeah, that's insane. Gosh, that is so pretty. You know what? I'm glad we did it. Uh -huh. They said it's not, they said it's not even feasible for a car, much less a person, so. Yeah. But that dude just said he went to the top. Yeah, I went all the way to the top. I think he was full of crap. Man. I mean, this looks like a drone shot. <laughs> We're gonna have to go. Girl, serious. Mommy is so proud of you. Yeah, so apparently uh, at the top of this, like, it's really pretty, but you can't really said it's kind of tough standing up there because the wind is pretty intense so let's see if uh we got what it takes yeah <laughs> let's see Sirius if i does. can fly like a kite big mama can't so wind status right now um pretty pretty windy the gusts of wind yeah the gusts kind of like whew, kind of throw you places but just want to do a wind update but I think I'd like to have an inhaler for future it's a little too late now but uh, my face is like so numb it's like a icy cold numb but 